Good, so very warm welcome to, to everyone. Uh, my name is uh, John Wilkes and uh, I'm going to be talking about the implications of environmental factors on prenatal development and basically this is around what advice we can give to uh, mums who are pregnant to, you could say, achieve the healthiest uh, pregnancy and avoid some of the sort of pitfalls. Now, this information is, uh, well, it took me an awful lot of time and effort to get this together, to be honest. Um, it took me a, a year or two of research, which I then put uh, partly into a book, which I'll talk about later. And so what we might have to do this evening is to break this up into two different webinars, if that's okay, because uh, I really do want to get through this material. Um, it's it's really kind of important, very important. And firstly, I'd just like to say a, a really huge thank you to some people who helped on this uh, project. Um, the first is Dr. David, uh, Professor David Healy, who is a professor of psychiatry at Cardiff uh, University in Wales. And um, he has done a lot of work on the use of antidepressants in pregnancy, which is something uh, I didn't know about before I wrote my choices in, in uh, pregnancy and childbirth book. I didn't really understand the implications of things like taking uh, antidepressants in, in pregnancy. And so he was immensely helpful to me personally. He looked at the chapter and gave some really useful comments on it. Um, he also runs a very interesting uh, website, which is at the bottom there. I'm not sure how you would pronounce that. <laughs> Risk.org. And, uh, and if you go there, he also does a, a very interesting newsletter, by the way. If you go there, you, you can uh, look at, at various drugs, particularly he tends to concentrate on the antidepressant range. Um, and the possible uh, side effects and, and people can can write their own experiences of, of taking these drugs. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that later on, but he's been fantastically helpful to me personally. Um, also, Professor Vivian Howard. Um, now, Vivian, uh, I came across about 20 years ago. He very kindly uh, sent me some papers and this was kind of <laughs> almost before the internet. And I remember asking him about um, uh, some toxicology studies he'd done around pregnancy and he, he very, very generously sent me this huge wad of papers uh, ages and ages ago. So we've kind of kept in contact a little bit over this period of time and he um, is a really lovely man. He's also a musician, he's a cellist, but um, he, his speciality really has been um, looking at the effects of toxicity in pregnancy and he's done a huge amount of work for the World Health Organization and others and the Lord Select Committee looking at particularly the use of uh, nanotechnology um, and its potential effects on human health and particularly on fetal health. So again this is something I knew absolutely nothing about before I wrote the book and uh, Vivian was in, immensely helpful again uh, looking at, the, at, at my work and commenting on it um, and uh, giving guidelines. So really big thanks to him. Um, so the other people I would like to uh, just acknowledge are, are Matthew Appleton and, and some of these people have, have done webinars for us and some contributed to um, the other book that I edited. <clears throat> which was the integrative uh, approach to treating babies and children, which came out in April. So uh, Matthew's done, done webinars for us, and he, he um, particularly he's contributed in this area around uh, the effect of uh, prenatal influences on, on, on baby body language, particularly how it affects the, uh, the umbilicus. So this is something that is obviously huge in pregnancy in the sense that everything that we receive from mum comes in through the umbilicus and also leaves. So we have this constant exchange and that shows up later on in um, possible health uh, concerns, but also certainly in baby body language. And that's something that he talks about a lot 
uh, fascinating stuff. And he's done, as I say, a couple of webinars for us on that already. And Weinstein, again, been extremely helpful um, in terms of the effect of maternal stress and what that does. And as you probably are aware, um, looking at maternal stress has been a, a, a huge area of research in the pre and prenatal field over the last few years and its ramifications. And she's written a lot about that and also done a couple of webinars for us on that too. Uh, Dr. Karen Go. Uh, who is now based in uh, uh, Malaysia, um, has done a huge amount of work on the microbiome. Uh, so this is the, uh, you probably know that that's the uh, and the gut which help form our immune system and how that can be affected by certain things uh, such as antibiotics and also uh, nanoparticles, which is something that I'm going to be talking about shortly. Neil Milliken, who's a, a wonderful doctor based up in Edinburgh, who uh, contributed to the book in terms of uh, nutrition. Uh, he's a highly experienced craniosacral therapist, doctor, Bowen therapist, and I think he's also a qualified dentist as well, and he runs a cancer center in Edinburgh. Um, Martin Gordon, who did some of the cartoons for the book, which I'll be showing as well. Uh, wonderful. So we're going to be looking in this webinar, well, they're going to be two webinars because they're going to be a follow on to this. So we'll probably get about halfway uh, this evening. Uh, so the implications of stress. Now, this is something I'm not going to cover really uh, so much tonight, um, because as I say, people like Anne Weinstein have covered it before. But so it's looking at um, endogenous opiates, so the, the opiates produced by the mother, and uh, which can have an effect on things like the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis and can create um, dissociative states or they can affect levels of cortisol, the stress hormone and things like that. As I say, I'm not going to go into that into that now because that has been covered um, elsewhere. Uh, Neil Milliken, uh, Dr. Neil Milliken covered this uh, in the book as well, the effect of electromagnetic fields on uh, pregnant mums. And I'll be touching on that a little bit in some of his work on that. I'll be talking about prenatal tests, so particularly uh, ultrasounds and the potential uh, risks involved with those, which again is something that is not necessarily known very much about. Um, the effect of pharmacological um, drugs. So th this is something that's actually very, very, very difficult to get good information on. You know, you would think in our day and age that it would be simple enough to know, is it safe to take paracetamol or ibuprofen or acne treatment or whatever it is in, in pregnancy. And actually, there is very little information out there that's very clear. So uh, some of the things I'll be talking about are painkillers, antidepressants, antibiotics, uh, particularly. Um, plastics. <coughs> and phthalates, so this is something that we find everywhere in the environment, um, and they have a particular uh, effect uh, which we're going to look at. Nanoparticles, I've touched on that already, and this is something that is I knew absolutely nothing about before I, I wrote the book. And just to say now, I'm not a scientist, I'm interested in. Uh, what uh, babies show me, what mums talk about when they come uh, into the clinic room. So nanoparticles um, is a whole area of which there's been very, very little research about their effects uh, during the prenatal period. So um, I want to share some information about that. And obviously the effect of farming practices like pesticides, herbicides, antibiotics used in cattle and things like that. Uh, so some of the, this material uh, is uh, in this book, which I've done a book launch for uh, already. There's uh, two chapters in there about uh, environmental aspects and pharmacological uh, aspects, uh, how they might affect women during pregnancy. Mm -hmm.